welcome back to another video. So, new Rangers jersey came in yesterday, and uh, yeah, I really I really like it. Um, it's not perfect with the smaller font, but the word mark font being a little bit smaller doesn't overly bother me as much as you know a full size logo going down to like that. So it doesn't look awful. Like I said, not perfect, but not awful. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with this jersey. It's really quite comfortable. Depending on how the season goes, it'll kind of depend on who I end up getting on this jersey. I'm hoping I'll be able to do Leah Anderson, but if not, I'll probably do uh, Panarin as kind of a backup choice. But for today's video, I'm doing the predictions, my final prediction video for the NHL season. Um, the awards. Uh, so that will include, you know, the Hart Trophy, the Calder, the Vesna, pretty much all of them. With the exception, I'm not going to be doing the Jennings Trophy, um, the Marc Messier Leadership Award, the NHL Leadership Award, whatever. Uh, the Masterton, I will not be doing. That's too early to tell who will even be considered a candidate for that. And the King Clancy, I'm not really too concerned about that one either. So I'll be kind of doing the major awards and then doing my uh, Final Four prediction. And I'll ultimately tell you who I think is going to end up winning the Stanley Cup this season. But we're going to get started off. Uh, I'm not going to try to take this too long. Uh, the GM of the year, I'm going to say Don Waddell. I think he's done a good job so far and I think he'll do a good job this year as well. So Don Waddell of the Carolina Hurricanes gets my vote for the GM of the year. Up next, I'm going to take Alexander Ovechkin for the Rocket Richard Trophy. Most goals in the NHL season. I have to think it's going to be him. I could be wrong. This is just complete, utter speculation on my part. Uh, up next, the Jack Adams. I'm going to give it to Joe Quenville of the Florida Panthers. I think he was going to have a big impact on the team, and I expect a lot from the Florida Panthers this year. And he seems like the perfect candidate. All right, up next, the Lady Bing. I think uh, probably William Carlson. He's already won it already once before. I think he didn't win it this year, but I think he got it the year before. Um, the most gentlemanly trophy in the NHL. Uh, it's considered kind of a, a bit of a joke trophy almost, but I don't know. I like it. Paul Correa won it, so I'm going to give it to William Carlson again. Uh, the Selkie Trophy, the most defensive forward in the game. Uh, going to go with Jonathan Taves. I think Bergeron pretty much seems to always win it. I think Ryan O'Reilly got it this past year. But I'm going to give it back to Jonathan Taves. I think he'll have a big year as well. All right, so up next I'm going to do the Art Ross, and this is obviously for the most points in the NHL season. Uh, so I'm going to give it to Mitch Marner. I going to see what he's able to do. He signed a big new contract. He led the Leafs, I believe, last year in scoring. I think he's only going to get better. Um, so I'm going to take Marner to win the Art Ross, but I'm probably going to end up being wrong on that one. That's all right, though. Uh, the Norris Trophy. I am going to go and give this to another Maple Leaf, Morgan Riley. Uh, he's really impressed me over the last two seasons, I would say. People in the East Coast seem to be able to get the awards a little bit easier. All the writers who vote on the awards seem to watch only Eastern Conference games, it seems like. So they usually end up winning. Uh, Morgan Riley's a really solid defenseman. Now, I'm kind of expecting a lot of big things from the Toronto Maple Leafs this year. So if that's the case, Morgan Riley should be able to slide in there and grab that award. All right, the Vesna. This one, um, there was a lot of people I considered. Maybe Freddie Anderson, Carey Price. Maybe Bennington's able to do that, but I'm going to take Henrik Lundqvist. I think he's coming in extremely motivated, and he wants to win. I'm probably going to be wrong about this one, but I'm really hoping I'm right. I would be thrilled to see Henrik Lundqvist have a fantastic year and win a Vesna. All right, this one is probably, I think, the most interesting. Uh, I feel like it's the most interesting almost every year. The Calder Trophy. Uh, best Rookie of the Year. I'm going to go with my boy Alexander Texier. Uh, there's a huge, huge list of fantastic rookies, and I honestly I wouldn't be surprised if any of them won, whether it was Hughes, Capo Caco. The list just goes on and on about all the players coming in the league. I'm just going to go with the guy who I want to see win it. Um, do I think he'll win it? Probably not. Uh, you never say never. But I want him to win. I'm not going to even deny that. I really want him to win the Calder, and I... Hope he has a fantastic year, gets 30 goals, 50 points, whatever. I think it'd be awesome. All right, so up next, the, probably I think the two most important awards, the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. And they usually end up being the same person who wins them both. Uh, very rarely, I think, one wins the other. The Ted Lindsay is the MVP of the league, pretty much. Uh, the Ted Lindsay is voted on by the players, so I feel like the players appreciate that one more. The Hart one is considered, I think, the more prestigious award. Uh, it is voted on by non-players, so the, the writers and everyone and all the media pretty much. Um, obviously MVP of the league as well. So I'm going to give it both to Nathan McKinnon. 
So I pretty much, honestly, I think Nathan McKinnon is just going to have an absolutely dominating season, and I think he's going to pretty much walk away from being the league MVP this year. Now, the way he played last year, uh, I don't see any reason why this couldn't happen. He just kind of had that really dry spell uh, kind of in the middle of the season at some point. The whole Avalanche team did, so if they can avoid that and do it for the full 82 games, he'll, he should definitely be the, the front runner, I think. All right, and in the background, you can see two Eastern Conference teams and two Western Conference teams, and those are my final four uh, for the NHL season, for the playoffs. I have San Jose and Dallas in the conference final, and then I have Carolina and Tampa Bay in the conference final out of, coming out of the East. And in the middle, I have the Dallas, and I have the Lightning making the Stanley Cup final. After last season with Tampa, who the hell knows, um, Carolina's probably not going to make the playoffs two years in a row. That doesn't really ever seem to happen. But I'm going to try to be a little bit unique and different with my picks. Um, who knows what will happen. That's the best thing about hockey is you never friggin' know. It's just so unpredictable. So I'm going to say Dallas is going to win the Stanley Cup. Come next June, I think the Dallas Stars will be hosting the Stanley Cup. And should be a really fun season. I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know who you guys think are, you know, contenders to win the Stanley Cup. Or who are your final four. And who do you think is ultimately going to win the Stanley Cup? That's what I'm most curious in. And I think that's, you know, the funnest thing to predict is who's going to win the Stanley Cup. So thank you guys very much for watching. This will probably be my last non-Jersey related video for a while. I um, just kind of wanted to, like I said, have a little bit of fun before the NHL season starts. But we'll get kind of back to Jersey talk here once some more Jerseys start coming out. Thank you very much for watching again, guys. If you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram. I'll leave a link to that in the description as always. And I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.